Welcome to how Microsoft circumvented their own permissions. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, here's a story from uh, from the real world. All my, all my stories are from the real world, so, but this one is uh, pretty uh, pretty close to current uh, current events. If you're watching the video in the beginning of uh, August 2025, at least. Um, so no shit happens sorry about language uh sometimes something doesn't work right that uh, that can happen to all of us and um and it it happened for, for microsoft um due to uh, different types of setups and uh and stuff like that then some customers would suddenly end up in the following scenario here is email accounts and depending on uh, the, your definition of recent, we got a new uh, new functionality with rate limiting and uh, concurrency. Um, and if you notice here in my uh, in my setup, it says email concurrency limit zero. Oh, no worries. Uh, so I could get into a situation where trying to send an email, I'll get a a uh, an email a message saying that oh hang on there's no more room to send emails because we can only do zero at the same time uh, so no worries set email rate limit and opening it says that con con concurrency limit must be between zero and ten ah so yeah shit happens uh so what what do we do well we fire up the good old trusted um, something, and then we write some mail code, right? We we write some mail code, and we go back here, and well, we can't really see. Let's see what we actually get. We get something with email rate limit table. This one. Um, so let's uh, do email rate limit. That's a record. Uh, email rate, and we don't get it in in the uh, intelligence. No worries. But now we worry. So table system dot email dot email rate limit is inaccessible due to its protection level. Huh. Meaning that if we F12 on this one, we will see that access is internal. So this is a a table inside the system app, so only code from within system app can access this. Ah, no worries. We, we, we'll uh, we know how to circumvent that. We there's a whole video on, on doing that. So we'll just switch to record ref, uh, and then we'll do open. So erl dot open. Uh, what was the number again? Eighty nine twelve. Haha. Um, and we can do find first and then we'll do URL dot and here I know that it's field five uh, otherwise we would have to go back in the intelligence and and figure that out oh, we could, maybe we should do that so if I go to this again and do email rate limit uh, here we can see that the field in question is field five right okay so go away with you so we'll do field five dot value 10 we, we're going to send a lot of emails and then we'll do modify boom four lines of codes problem solved customers are customers are back on track so let's let's run this baby So this was me like Monday morning when when I got I got these errors from from, from customers. Um, 
getting ready and and i have to run this on uh, on a cloud uh sandbox so uh oh find first is failing but why so let's just hit it again your license does not grant you the foreign permissions so my license do not have read permissions to this table meaning that even though i'm super and there's no actual permissions license to use this table and this was the point where you know microsoft uh, support microsoft uh, product uh, group uh, got involved and um, super quick uh, which was uh, great if you use yeah, here's a code unit or here's an here's an app that will fix it and i saw what if 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 i'm not able with you know using the best tricks in the book to uh to fix this how how um and uh and and you know i love a good hack I, I I prefer them being my my own and all good stuff. But hey, I love a good hack, uh, and 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 I love the irony in Microsoft uh, hacking their own software. So uh, this is what they did, because this is what we want. But clearly, I do not have license to run that code. But let me show you who has. So let's add a code unit. Um, and I'll call this uh, install hack. Haha. -ha. And um, a code unit can have a different different types. So there, there's a um, install, normal, test, test, run, and upgrade. So every time we just write a code unit, it's a normal code unit. Test and test run is out of for the testing system, and install is for you guessed it, installing the app, and upgrade is for upgrading an app so if we run a install app so so now we have a trigger here called on install app per company so we have got an install app per database and we got install app per company so this trigger will run for every company in our system and um, basically I'll just grab my code from up here and say Let's put this code. So we want to put 10 into the field right. Let's put this code into, uh, and we don't need the page extension here anymore. Let's put this code into an install code unit. So when we're install, installing the app, this code runs. So the interesting part here is that install code units run outside normal license and permission scope because there's no not a user logged in per se um it it, it just runs so and i need to make sure that i operate the my app version here uh, so let's create a new app file i will go in here and jump to extension management and I'll find my app. Uh, yeah, it's called install permissions, uninstall, go away, and uh, unpublish. So I will now grab, and, and let's just verify that right now, email accounts. 29 and 0. So I'll grab the new version of the app. Sure, deploy. Which takes way longer than just deploying from VS Code, right? Uh, because we have to go, so we go into installation status and uh, we can say view and then we can uh, either hit a five or we can uh, click refresh and we see the package validation is waiting to be started so when you're installing an app 
uh, in, in the cloud, there is a, I, I, I don't know. Here is my, my, my guess, my impression. There is a install service running somewhere and the package are sent to the, the app file is sent to that and it's queuing for some sort of validation. Uh, and um, we're waiting for that to queue and sometimes it's fast sometimes it's slow uh and now we package validation is progress so it's doing something uh seeing that this package is great fine good and uh, when we have validated this package let's see if we get to validate it or not come on package validation you can do it there so package configuration storage is in progress so actually uh on, on the uh, on the simple object designer it goes through the same thing but i i created a different version of this screen where there's a uh, a, a timer so so you see the things happening without having to hit a five all the time to refresh but uh here we got a we got a refresh. So now we get to deployment, which is pretty good. Um, that's usually actually pretty quick. It's somehow it's all the leading up to steps that are slow. But deployment should more or less be the same as deploying from VS Code, which we know is fairly quick. Um, but uh, <laughs> well, not today. Completed. There we go. So the app is installed. So now we're assuming that the thing has run. So let's go into email accounts. Uh, and it's still zero. And somehow I, 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 I goofed around with this. And then uh, I'm not sure if there's actually some sort of... Um, let, let's, let's try this again. Uh, meaning that... I'm just going to verify that we have, we set it to 10. That's right. So we go, let's, uh, let's try one more thing because I had some weird stuff. So let me do uninstall them and install again. The email rate limit table is empty. Oh, interesting. I don't know if we get this, the zero is suddenly something, but we did not get a, uh, oh, that's because we run it in all companies. Ah, let's actually see. Um, let's actually see email accounts. Does it commit per company? I, maybe not. So let's, uh, let's, let's make this slightly a better program right if find first then begin wow here it is so now, now we have to go to the deploy thing again um sometimes it's it's okay let's let's try something else then let's try something else now we we uh on publish here so it's not there let's just publish from vs code again um i have had semi success and 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 not success with this uh from vs code let's see if it does anything different email account till zero so extension management Extension management, install permissions. Now we cannot say on, when we say uninstall on a dev. Okay, let's actually see if that works. Install. There you go, install. Okay, email accounts. 10, boom. That was weird. That's probably the, uh, 
the other companies. I wonder if it's just done in one big write transaction. It probably is because you can now upgrade one. Uh, that was that. Was, yeah, that was on me. That was stupid. Um, you can't uh, upgrade an app in one app uh, in one company and then have it fail in another company. So that makes total sense. Anyway, now I have permissions. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, and and you know I always salute a good hack. And, and this one, uh, this one, this one is a good hack. Um, so if you need to somehow clean up your email uh, or do something with emails that you normally not cannot do because of the way permissions you can do it in an install code unit it's, it's kind of cumbersome and, and 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 weird but you can do it so uh that's a nice hack and uh trust me check this video out even more hacks ale hacks the best ones. Go check it out. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.